All right, so to replace Manny with a metahuman, you simply want to come over here to add and go up here to add crystal content. Go down here to metahumans and you could use a preset one or you could use your custom one if you have one. Just download it and then hit export right here to export it into Unreal. All right, so depending on what quality you use, it may take a little bit longer to import into Unreal or it may be super quick, but either way, you may get all these missing plugins on all three of these just simply hit enable missing enable missing enable missing and unreal will set everything up for you and then this restart right here just simply hit restart now and so now once it restarts quixel may come back up but just simply close out of that you'll notice down here in your content browser you now have a metahumans folder so click this and go to whatever character you have downloaded and then open up its blueprint once it's open, depending on what Unreal Engine version you're using, you may have some warnings right here. To clear these out, you just simply click them. And this is wanting you to use the Git Skeletal Mesh Asset right here. So off of the face, just search for Git Skeletal Mesh Asset instead of Skeletal Mesh. And you can simply delete Skeletal Mesh and replace that. And then copy... And then go over here to your other warnings and delete this one, paste, drag this in, drag this to that, and down here to the purple one. And then you should compile and save, and then all the warnings should go away. Alright, so the very first thing we're going to do to actually set this up is adjust the LOD quality. So come over here in your LOD sync right here. Click this, your forced LOD might be negative one. I find that if you set it to zero, it just adds just a little bit extra quality. I'm pretty sure it's just the exact same, but to me, it looks a little different. And so now we're going to do this sort of the lazy way. And by what I mean is we're just going to parent this to the third person character. So come up here to your class settings and parent class over here on the right. Instead of actor, just search for BP third person character right here and as you can see the third person character stuff all pops up so once everything shows up your character should be like floating but don't worry about that right now you want to drag your body right here the main body drag this onto the mesh of the third person character and then this root down here we can simply just delete this and so now to line up the body with the mannequin you can simply go to your body right here and you just click these little arrows and they'll line everything up for you. And if we compile and save, that root we used is actually referenced somewhere. Like right here. So instead of using the root, just drag in your mesh right here and connect that up like that. And now if we compile and save again, that error should go away. So back in the viewport, Manny is like here as well. So you basically just want to go to your mesh and search for visibility. And right here, visible. Just uncheck that. Manny goes away. And down here, since we are going to be using live retarget for the animation, we want to select, change this visibility based anim tick option. We want to always tick pose and, ref, and refresh bones right here. And so now I mentioned live retarget. And that is down here on, in your variables. So click this to expand it. And then click this. Clear out your visibility search. And then check this to be true. Now, as you can see already, the animation is here, but it's not exactly perfect because the arms are just a little bit not matching a little bit, as you will see in a minute, as well as there's another option we have to enable to be able to use this with future assets and convert those assets to work on our character. But first though, one thing I just remembered is over here in the event graph, before we get into all the animation stuff, we actually have to get our parent call on the begin play right here so just right click and select the add call to parent function and then just click hook this into that and then hook this into that the reason why we do this is because the third person character begin play actually has stuff on it that's being called so we just want to make sure we call that all right so you can just make sure you compile and save again and we can head on to the animation stuff Alright, so I just spent a couple of minutes trying to find this asset we need. But if you just come over here to live retarget setup right here, I've found out that 
it's actually listed right here what we need so just click this to browse to it it's right here once again in the live retarget setup and it's this node right here going into the branch you just click this little browse magnifying glass and then if we minimize this as you can see it takes your content browser where you need to go and so in this folder what we want to do is your retarget right here we want to right click this and say duplicate right here and you want to name this rtg underscore manny to meta or something along those lines and then we can open this up all right and so now in here since this is retargeting from manny to meta humans our source ik rig right over here needs to be ik mannequin and then our target preview mesh since we want to line this up properly it need, or the target ik for the target needs to be meta human and the mesh since we want to line this up properly it needs to be male underscore medium normal body underscore preview right here now this asset will vary depending on what body type your meta human is but to figure out what you need you simply go back to your meta human over here go to your body right here and you look right here mine is m underscore medium normal body and if but if yours is m underscore tall normal body then you would do the same thing except you would use the tall version and you would use the preview one if you use the one that's not preview then all it is is floating hands and it's kind of hard to see all right so once you have that set up the first thing we want to do is make sure this can retarget a bunch of animations in case you have like other animations that aren't on the character already that you want to retarget later so just go to your root right here and this translation mode right here instead of none you want to set this to globally scaled and then once you have that then as you can see we have to move these hands you can also move the feet right here but mine are lined up pretty well already so i'm not going to worry about those but just to show you how to do it i'm going to move the hands and so you come over here to edit mode right over here in the left you select edit mode and now as you can see there's nothing showing so we have to go to character bones and do all hierarchy in order in order to see the bones and then from here all you simply do is select the arm like this and what you want to do is bump it rotate it out 10 degrees like that to get it lined up you may have to do 20 degrees depending on your character or 15 degrees you can come up here and adjust your snap your angle snap but generally just doing about 10 works fine and then as well we have to do 10 degrees out and 10 degrees back like that just so it somewhat lines up with the hand it doesn't have to be completely perfect but as long as it's close and i believe the tall figure matches manny exactly so the tall figure it'll be exactly 10 degrees and everything will line up it's just if you're using the short figure or the medium figure then it'll be off just a little bit and so yeah we do the same thing over here on this other arm you select the arm all the bones and then you rotate it out about 10 degrees and then you rotate it back about 10 degrees just like that and then we can save this all right and we can close out of this and now minimize out of your character if it's still open because now we have to actually use this retargeter that we created so open up the retarget animation right over here the animation blueprint over here to get back to the regular animation graph just click double click anim graph right over here and right here on this retarget pose from mesh instead of having the ik retargeter asset over here as retarget meta human simply change it to retarget manny to meta which is the one we created and then just compile and save this and so now if we go back to our character as you can see it's animating and it's retargeting and it has been retargeted properly all right and so there's one last thing we have to do which is real simple instead of using the third person character for our default character we want to use our metahuman we just created so simply just minimize this and then go back all the way back to content third person 
blueprints bp third person game mode right here and then on the default pawn class right here it said bp third person character just simply use bp in my case it's bp steven or whatever your meta human's name is so just select that and then compile and save and we can finally test this out now in the play as you can see we can run around jump like normal and yeah but yeah that's how you can set your third person character to use a meta human super easy and if you already have code on your third person character since we parented it then it should just start working but if you really need or you want to you can set up a whole new character for it which isn't too hard to do but i just did the sort of like lazier way but everything should still work the same nonetheless but yeah that's how you set the metahuman on your character if you enjoyed or found it useful then leave a like subscribe for more and i will see you in the next one bye bye